Okay, so how can we solve this question? The question is saying a Zampif delivery truck travels 18 kilometers north, 10 kilometers uh, east, and 15 kilometers south. What is its final displacement from the origin? Now, um, if you want, you can first put this information in XY plane. Okay, so when they say find the final displacement, it's the same as finding the resultant. So what you are supposed to do is, um, you can take it this way. You can first find, you can first draw the XY plane, and then you put this information in XY plane. Okay, so if this is our XY plane, okay, and then we know that in this is north, this is south, this is east, this is west. Okay, and then we know that when they say 18 kilometers north, meaning this this vector here, it is uh, it is lying in in this line toward north. And we know that here is 90 degrees, this line is 0, this line is 80 de 180 degrees, this line is 270 degrees. Okay, meaning that um, we have got um, 18 kilometers in this line. Then we also have 10 kilometers in this line. 10 kilometers. Meaning the angle for this vector is 0. Okay, then we have 180, uh, we have got... Uh, 15 kilometers is due south, meaning the angle for this vector is what? Is 270. Okay, so we are first supposed to resolve this vector into x and y component. After resolving it into x and y component, and then we need to, to find the displacement. Okay, so if you want, you may take it that way, or you can use sketching. Now, how do you use sketching? We are going to get our origin point. We are going to assume that this is our origin point. We are supposed to go 18 kilometers just north so we're going to we go up so we're going to say that this is uh, 18 kilometers then from there after reaching here we are supposed to go we are supposed to turn 10 kilometers east we go this side 10 kilometers okay then from here we are supposed to come from here 15 kilometers due uh, uh south so we are supposed to start from here again all the way to but this one is supposed to be a bit shorter than uh, the 18 kilometers. So the final displacement is going to be the line from the origin all the way until the last vector. Meaning this is the displacement we are trying to find. We are trying to find. Okay. So we are su first supposed to resolve these vectors into x and y component. So what we are going to do is uh, to resolve um, a vector into x component, we are supposed to get that vector is going to be 18 18 cos um, cos uh, 90 degrees because it's going toward north cos 90 degrees that will be this vector in x x component so it's going to be 18 uh, cos 90 is giving me 0 okay so we are going to get a 0 then we are supposed to resolve it into x uh, into y as well so it's going to be 18 sine 90 which is going to give us what it's going to give us 18 okay now we also need to resolve so this is our x so we can say this is the x com let me say just this is x1 then this is going to be my y1 okay and then let me say i'm going to have my x2 as in for 10 kilometers so i'm supposed to also to resolve this one into it's going to be 10 because see, it's due east, so it's going to be 0 degrees. Okay? So this is going to give me um, 10. It's going to give me 10. Okay? So I go to y. So I'm going to say y2, which is going to be 10 sine 0 degrees, which is going to give me a 0. Okay? So then we go to the next one. We go to the next one, which I can call it uh, x2 or x3, sorry. Then I say I have got 15. So it's going to be 15 cos what? Cos 270. Okay. Which is going to give us, it's supposed to give us 0. 15 cos 270. Yeah, it's supposed to give us 0. Then y3 is going to be 15 sine what? 
sine 270 is supposed to give us negative 15. So these are the things which we have. So we are supposed to add the x component alone and the y components alone. So what I'm going to do is, um, let me just get rid of this. And then what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to say the x component alone, we add them. So it's going to be the dx, meaning the, the displacement. Now the x component of that displacement is going to be equal to the x1 plus x2 plus x3. Okay? So my dx is going to be equal to my x1 is 0 plus my x2 is 10. As you can see from here, my x3 is 0. Okay? Then my dx is going to be equal to 10. So I need to find the dy as well. So dy is going to be equal to, it's going to be y1, okay, it's going to be y1 plus y2 plus y3. So what is our y1? Our y1 is 18 plus our y2 is 0, then plus our y3 is negative 15. Okay, so getting our calculator, we are going to discover to say this one is going to give us, it's going to give us 3. So we have our x, our dx and dy. So our goal is to find the final displacement. So what we are supposed to do is um, we are going to get this displacement. We are going to say the d is going to be equal to the square root of dx squared plus dy squared. So what we are going to do here is it's going to be our d is going to be equal to, we plug in the values. So it's going to be the 10 squared plus 3 squared. So what will be our displacement? So what is 10 squared plus 3 squared? It's giving me 10, uh, 109. Then the square root of this one is giving me 10.44. Okay. So 10.44, that will be kilometers. That is the final displacement. But now, we need to find the direction of the same final displacement. The when, uh, when we say direction, we are talking about the angle. Okay. So... Calculating the angle first, we, we need to know to say, where is this angle going to fall? Is it going to fall in the first quadrant? Is, is it going to fall in the second quadrant? Is it going to fall in the third quadrant? So as we can see, the x component here is positive. The y component is also positive. Definitely, the angle has to fall in the first quadrant. So if the angle falls in the first quadrant, we are going to get the same theta which we are going to find from this formula. So let me just get rid of this and then... I put it here to say my displacement is a uh, 10.44 so it's going to be our uh, theta is going to be equal to tan inverse the dy over dx okay so theta is going to be equal to the tan inverse so we are going to have the y component which is 3 divided by 10 okay so what will be our theta our theta is going to be shift tan inverse then open brackets, we have 3 divided by a 10. So I'm getting 16.69, which is the same as 16.7. Okay, 16.7 degrees. Meaning that my displacement, I can say that is my displacement is 10.44 kilometers at an angle of 16.7 degrees. So this is the answer for this question.